All right, there are several tools that we'll be showing you throughout the tutorial. And the main and the first tool that we're going to be working on is using Excel as a budgeting tool. The purpose of this is to take um, data that is arranged in a table such as this and to convert it into a spreadsheet that you can manipulate and use um, according to the data and the information that you want to project. And so you click anywhere inside this table and you go to insert pivot table and then you choose existing worksheet and then you click wherever you want to place the pivot table within the worksheet and then it'll come up with this screen over here and basically you just take and you click and drag you drag these columns of information down here and it'll separate it into rows or columns or values here and you can also filter your tables according to the information that you want to show. So you take division, we'll bring it down here underneath row labels, and then we'll bring sales, bring sales under our values over here, as well as profit. We'll bring our profit over here. And then as you can tell, it created a it created a spreadsheet over here that separated this data into a table that can be easily read and used. For example, over here it has your regions and it also has the different divisions that are listed and then the sum of sales. And you can also change these around. You can move these to however you want to display your information. And you can just kind of play with that and uh, manipulate the data however you would like to show it. And that's the first, uh, that's the first tool as a budgeting tool. Alrighty, now as Zach showed you, we uh, used the pivoting table to create a budgeting tool. We can also use the pivot table to create a sales analyzer. We're going to follow the same exact steps. We're going we're gonna to go into insert, click pivot table, insert a pivot table. We're going to select our, our table right here, all that data there. That's right, we're going to click on existing worksheet. For the location, we want to put it you know, just right next to it. We're going to put it in the J column. Click OK. Now to show us how this works, we can do the let's pull the sales date down into the row label. Let's go the sales amount down into these values here. Okay. So now that's broken it down by all the dates and the sum of the sale amounts for the, the table over here on the side. What we can do too is we can filter this row table. We can click on it, right click it, we can go to group. So we want to show it by quarters instead of months or days. So we got to click on quarters, we unclick months, we click OK. And we have it down to the first quarter. Currently all our dates are in one quarter, so yeah. So then you have the, the sum of the sale amount here. But if you wanted to break it down into something else, just click on it. You want to show up by back to let's see, days. You click OK. It breaks it down like that. So that's the first quarter, and then all the days of the first quarter, and the sum of the sales. So that just shows you how you can use a pivot table to create a sales analyzer, and you can analyze all the data in your table on the side, and accurately put in, a, in an easy-to-read table to uh, demonstrate your sales creation. Now we're going to show you how you can use uh, the pivot table in Excel to create a database link where you can have all your data live and whatever you record in your sales data table over here, your chart, uh, it will actually be accurately be transmitted and portrayed in the uh, your new up-to-date table on the side. So we can show you what you do is you create your little table here in a different workbook and then you would have to go to insert and you'd add the pivot table on a different work like I've done here. Let me just show you and then that will automatically make the, the numbers live. What you'd have to do is you'd have to go over to here. Let's say we want to change the sales figure for the region south division one instead of selling 200 maybe they sold $500 worth of 
So that means their profit's 235. And so we go over here. Let's see, it was in the division two of the South. They haven't updated it yet. So what we can do is you click on that, click on the table, you right click, you get a refresh. Okay. And it should have updated. Right. Let's see what happens this time. Okay, uh, just a little minor mistake here. That actually did update the chart. We can just show that again. We can go to the 706. If we find that here, it's right here on the chart over here in the other, the other workplace. So that's not updated. Say instead of having sold the $706, we sell $800 worth. Click enter, that's 376. But it's still not updated over here. So now we go to update it. Just click on somewhere on the, uh, the table over there. Right click, refresh. And as you see, it accurately changes data. So that means the numbers are live. And now what you've accurately and successfully done is you've created a database link connecting uh, whatever numbers you have in here, making them live to accurately portray your numbers in a pivot table or in a chart on a different workplace. And that right there is using Excel as a